Welcome back to Building Character, where we figure out how to play as your favorite fictional characters in Dungeons & Dragons. Join the Patreon for this character sheet and a whole bunch more, and like and subscribe to be part of the family next time you play. Maybe. Today we're building Dominic Toretto from the Fast and Furious movies, which means we're putting a car in Dungeons & Dragons. You should just play a different game. Not everything needs to fit into D&D. Well, guess what, buddy? Here's your exit ramp. If you come along for this quarter mile, it's gonna be silly, it's gonna be fun, and it's gonna be fast. Let's start off with our goals for this build. First, we need your superpower, car. Green Lantern gets charged up by his ring, Thor becomes a god with a hammer, and Dominic Toretto can rewrite the fabric of reality when he's behind the wheel of a Dodge Charger. Next, we need to be the best, almost like it's written into our contract that we can't lose. Finally, we need to protect the most important thing in the world, family. For stats, we'll be using the standard point array from the player's handbook. Rule for stats if you want, just watch your multi-classing minimums. There are a lot of them. Strength will be number one, in Dubai, you just picked up a car, like with your arms. Intelligence next, building cars isn't easy, and you build your cars better than anyone else. Dexterity after that, despite your angry demeanor, you're also very quick, quick and angry. Follow that up with constitution, car crashes, or just another day at the office for you. Seriously, you roll over more than a dog that wants biscuits. Charisma is lower than I'd like, your family loves you, but you tend to mumble a bit and will dump wisdom. You live your life a quarter mile at a time. That's bad perception. Dom is a human, even if he's the size of a goliath they're not boobs the mobile feet adds 10 feet to your movement speed creatures you make a melee attack against can't make opportunity attacks against you and you can ignore difficult terrain while dashing that's an all-terrain diesel folks bump your strength and dexterity with your two free points take intimidation for your skill of choice and the mercenary veteran background for athletics and persuasion to get the bad guys to join your family but also because it gives you a ground vehicle proficiency even though we're not using cars for that a chariot isn't a car we'll kick things off as an artificer or should i say car to fit Sir. I know I shouldn't, I'm going to anyway. You get two skills from the Cartificer list, like Investigation and Sleight of Hand, for Crash Scene Spider Senses and Ocean's Eleven style heist reveals. You get proficiency with Thieves Tools, Tinkerer's Tools, and another one of your choice, I think Smith's seems like the best one to build cars, especially in a bit. You're a magical tinkerer, letting you put a tiny magical effect into a tiny non-magical item, a puff of smoke, a little smell, a message of 25 words or less, it's basically a little post-it note of magic. We're really here for spells and cantrips, like mending to fix a crack in something or put two pieces of something back together it's just welding that's it's it's a welding spell thunderclap forces a constitution saving throw on creatures within five feet of you dealing 1d6 thunder damage if they fail that's the thing about a street fight the street always wins for first level spells long strider adds 10 feet to a creature's movement speed and expeditious retreat lets you dash as a bonus action for up to 10 minutes depending on your concentration but why why would we want dom to be faster dom isn't a car correction dom isn't a car yet. Second level artificers get infusions, special tools to make your cars a little better than the bad guy cars. Sending stones are stones that you can cast sending between, basically little fantasy walkie-talkies so you can talk to your other family members in the cars. Repeating shot lets you fire multiple shots in the same round without reloading while using a weapon that normally requires reloading. Artificers have firearm proficiency, so a shotgun is definitely an option. It also doesn't run out of ammo, because that wouldn't be fun. Enhanced weapon makes a weapon magical and adds one to the attack and damage rolls with it if you want to beat someone to death with a wrench. Now you can do it with a magical wrench. Finally, enhanced armor gives a shield or a set of armor plus one to its AC. Except Dom wears a tank top. Not armor. What is happening? What am I doing? I'm building Dominic Toretto. Vanellope Von Schweetz might scoot around on a battlesmith's battle buddy, but she is a small creature. Dom is medium, bordering on large, so he can't mount a go-kart and just call it good. That would leave his massive torso sticking out the top, not how Dom operates. If only there were a way for us to wrap ourselves in a ton of metal and then cast spells through that metal that would make us go faster. There is. It's called Armorer Artificer, but I'm calling it Carmorer Cardificer. You get proficiency with heavy Carmor. You can cast spells through your heavy Carmor, and you can pick a Carmor model. The Guardian would work best for American Muscle, letting you give yourself temporary HP equal to your Cardificer level as a bonus action and amount of times per long rest equal to your proficiency bonus so you can drive your car 
are like a steamroller. You also get thunder gauntlets, which lets you make a melee weapon attack that deals 1d8 thunder damage and gives the creature you hit disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures that aren't you until the start of your next turn. Trade a little paint and protect your family. You also get some exclusive spells as a karmerer, but I'll be honest, none of them are very Toretto, so just grab the jump spell to triple your jump distance, or rather, triple your car's jump distance. Honestly, the way you drive, it's basically a helicopter, tank, and muscle car all rolled into one. Fourth level card officers get an ability score improvement or a feat. The dodge charger feat lets you make an attack as a bonus action after you dash with your action and either deal an extra five damage or push the target 10 feet instead of five with a shove attempt. Your main method of fighting is running people over or smashing your car into them. Use that thunder gauntlet as a big old bash. Fifth level karmers get an extra attack, letting you make two attacks with your action instead of one. That's doubling the crashing power for double the cinematic flair. You also get second level spells like enhance ability, letting you give a creature advantage on ability checks of a certain type. If you choose strength, they double their carrying capacity. If you choose dexterity, they don't take fall damage from heights of 20 feet or less. And if you choose constitution, they also get 2d6 temporary HP. It lasts for an hour depending on your concentration. I'd pick strength for straight up superhero levels of strength that you get in the later movies. Sixth level artificers get tool expertise, giving you doubled proficiency bonus with the tools you have proficiency with. Time to address a little whoopsie from the Vanellope video. I said that ground vehicles were a tool. They're not. They're their own thing. You can't get expertise with them. Unless your DM is cool and says they're tools, I think they should be. How often are vehicles actually useful? Just give them a supercar. You also get two more infusions. Resistant Karma gives a set of Karma resistance to acid, cold, fire, force, lightning, necrotic, poison, psychic, radiant, or thunder damage. I think fire could be useful. Bad guys like to shoot missiles at you. Spell Refueling Ring gives you a spell of third level or lower back once per day for some extra NOS once we get NOS. Seventh level card of Histers get Flash of Genius, letting you add your intelligence modifier to a skill check or saving throw of a creature within 30 feet of you, an amount of times per day equal to your intelligence modifier. You could use it on yourself, or you could use it on your family to keep the family safe. I wonder if I say car or family more in this script. We'll find out. Eighth level card officers get another ability score improvement, but hey, we don't actually use our intelligence for anything except for one cantrip. That means we can just grab the tough feet plus two HP every level we have and every level we get after this. You're effectively invincible once you're in a car. Ninth level karmers get karma modifications, letting you treat your karma as four different pieces, a headpiece, gauntlets, a chest piece, and a weapon. And you can infuse two more items per long rest as long as they're part of your armor, helping you modify your karma even more. You can also cast third level spells like haste, doubling your movements Speed, adding two to your AC, giving you advantage on dexterity saving throws, and an extra action to dash, disengage, dodge, hide, use an object, or make one more attack. So, with a base 40 movement speed from mobile and 50 from long strider, you can hit 100 feet of base speed with haste, then hit 200 with a dash action and 300 with a haste action. Honestly, that's not really as fast as a car, but we're gonna get more speed in a second. Keep in mind, after this spell ends, you do need to take a round off of actions and reactions. Nos can really do a number to your engine. 10th level card officers are magic magical item adepts, letting you attune up to four magical items that require attunement at once, and your enhanced defense and weapon bonuses go up to plus two. You can also learn two more infusions. Ring of Jumping lets you cast the jump spell as a bonus action at will, so you can always hit the ramps when you need to. Gauntlets of Ogre Power turn your strength score up to 19. Remember, the strength of the driver is the car, and the strength of the car is the driver. 11th level card officers get Spell Storing Item, letting you put a spell of second level or lower into an item, then creatures can cast that spell through that item an amount of time times per day equal to double your intelligence modifier, a little long strider can make all of your family's cars faster. 12 level card officers get another ability score improvement, let's actually bump our intelligence to be better with your tools and to have more flashes of genius to help your family. 13th level card officers get 4th level spells, freedom of movement makes you immune to having your speed lowered and you can break out of non-magical shackles with 5 feet of movement with no concentration, letting you blast around without worrying about other cars locking you down. 14th level card officers are magical item savants letting you attune up to five magical items at once, and we get the most important infusion of all. Rudolph. Nope. Boots of Speed. That's what it's called. Boots of Speed let you double your speed as an action. Stack that with all of your other buffs for 200 feet of movement speed. Then dash for 400 feet. Double dash for 600 feet, which is 68 miles per hour. That's just as fast as I can drive on the highway. Still not fast enough. For your last infusion, Amulet of Health gives a creature 19 constitution. And important note, you can give this to other creatures. Your infusions don't have to be for you. That's why Dom is handing his necklace to so many different people. He's giving his family extra constitution, obviously. So, how are we going to go faster? Rogue is a good way, but not at level 1. First level rogues get another skill from the rogue list like Deception. You want to hustle people by pretending you're not the god of cars. You also get expertise in two skills of your choice. Athletics and Persuasion 
are great because you're really strong and really charming. Sneak Attack lets you add an extra d6 of damage to one attack per round when you're using a finesse or ranged weapon as long as you have advantage on the attack roll or a member of your family within five feet of the target. We don't really need that, but a shotgun is a ranged weapon, so you could use this to buff it up a little bit more. Second level Rogue is what we're here for. Cunning Action lets you dash, disengage, or hide as a bonus action, giving you another 200 feet per round for a total of 90 miles per hour. Hey, that's pretty fast. You could get a serious ticket. Now it's time to jump over to Fighter for a fighting style. Defense adds one to your AC when you're wearing Karma. You're basically invincible when you're behind the wheel. You also get Second Wind, letting you heal 1d10, plus your Fighter level as a bonus action once per short rest, letting you take one last ride. You've been taking one last ride for five movies now, but maybe he just means one last ride for today. Second level Fighters get Action Surge, letting you make two actions in one turn once per short rest for another dash action and another 200 feet. That's 113 miles per hour and the best we can get without going Monk, which would mean we couldn't use Heavy Karma, which is the whole point of the build. Third level fighters can choose a martial archetype. Champion is pretty simple, but all you do is run people over, so enjoy improved critical, letting you critically hit on a 19 or 20. That's bigger damage when you really need it. Our capstone is the fourth level fighter for one last ability score improvement. Bump that intelligence a little bit higher to help your family succeed as often as possible. Now that we've hit level 20, let's figure out how viable this build is. First, you're fast. One of the fastest builds we've ever built. I desperately want Sonic the Hedgehog in the next Fast and Furious movie so I can see you two race. You're also pretty much invincible in a car with 18 AC from plate mail, 20 from enhanced defense, 21 from the defense fighting style, and 23 after haste, pairing with a ton of health from your amulet to keep you in for the long haul. Finally, you've got a ton of ways to help your team with Clash of Genius and infusions to make your family the best family in the history of family. For weaknesses, you're not actually all that great at dealing damage. We never really invested in a method to actually hit stuff. We just sort of drove fast and didn't die. There's also no reason to go a thousand feet in a round. No map is ever going to be that big. At a certain point, you're getting extra speed just to flex. Finally, your wisdom and charisma are low, which can lead to some very unfun saving throws, even if you don't have to worry about hold person thanks to freedom of movement. But you're going to be rocking 21st century transportation in a medieval setting. Rev your engine, blast forward, and roll over anyone who would come for your family. Just remember to slow down every once in a while. Life moves pretty fast, and you just might miss it. They should put Ferris Bueller in Fast and the Furious. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe for more. We make two videos every week. Join the Patreon for this character sheet and a whole bunch more, and sub to 2 Lock and Mango for more 2 Lock fun.